Yo, back with another whiskey review and thrilled to have you here on the Matt Moscona YouTube channel. Thank you for subscribing to the page. If you have not done that yet, please hit the red subscribe button. You would be my best friend in the history of the whole wide world. So, a lot of you have asked me what are some of my go-tos. And one of the responses, the primary response I think we've gotten from people on the page so far are people who say, hey man, I'd really like to just get started drinking some nicer whiskeys or, and move beyond like the Jim Beam and Coke, uh, but I don't know what to get and I don't know what's priced well. So I wanna share with you one that is an absolute personal favorite, one that will always have a permanent place on my bar, and it is Angel's Envy. I love this. Um, I don't even need to taste it to tell you that, but we're gonna open a bottle here together tonight. So I'll be able to share with you uh, as I open it, my thoughts on this bottle in particular. But so the whole process behind Angel's Envy, um, by the way, so if you're wondering about the name, um, the, the sort of the saying is as whiskey is aging, some of it will obviously evaporate and that is what is known as the angel share. So the stuff that remains in the barrel is the Angel's Envy. So that's where they get the name Angel's Envy. So we're gonna go ahead and open this one up. Uh, Angel's Envy is uh, Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Uh, and if you're wondering to be considered a bourbon, it's gotta be aged at least two years. The interesting thing about Angel's Envy that I like a lot, uh, two things in particular. Number one, uh, one that I find interesting is uh, they don't have a set year, a set length of time that it's aged. So a lot of, if you read labels on a lot of different bottles, it'll say, you know, six year or eight year or 20 year. And so the, the whiskey will age in their barrels for that amount of time. With Angel's Envy, they actually sample it throughout the entire process. So they don't have a set age that they say, okay, it's mature now because it's been in that barrel four years or six years. Typically, it's four to six years with Angel's Envy, but they sample it throughout the process to determine, and they finish it in port wine barrels, which is actually very common for scotch. Um, so they figured, do it for their bourbon. So that's what Angel's Envy has done. They finished it in uh, port, uh, uh, port wine barrels, and it gives it a very, uh, it's very sweet and very flavorful. Like this is one that you can probably, you can go to Calandro's and Baton Rouge, and I, I talk a lot about Calandro's because to me, they have the best selection in Baton Rouge, and their staff is very knowledgeable. You can go to go to the the Perkins location, talk to Blaze, or talk to Taylor, and like those guys, they just know a lot. Um, so if you have questions, they can answer a lot for you. So I'm, you know, they they've been great, you know, for everything I've ever wanted, and um, and I frequent both stores, both Perkins and Mid City. So that's why I mentioned Calandros a lot. So anyway, uh, by the way, I also just love the bottle. You can see they've got like angels wings on the back. I don't know if you can tell with the, the lighting, but um, I find that to be very cool. So anyway, sorry, I think you're probably getting a little reflection from my, my computer. So uh, let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open. It's blocking my face there, my apologies. Whoop, 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 and there we go. It's a beautiful sound. So cheers, go ahead and pour. All right, I'll leave that here so you all can see it. A little product placement. You're welcome, Angels Envy people. Um, I am going to love this. I'm telling you because I know that I love it. I'll leave that right there for uh, product placement purposes so you know the bottle we're talking about. So uh, we'll get the nose on it. The first thing that you'll smell, that I smell anyway, is sweet. And it has a lot of vanilla notes in there. With the, the port wine barrels, you're going to get some of that... Um, that sort of ripe fruit, sort of chocolate flavors as well, which I find very pleasing to the senses. And remember, if you've watched any of the, the episodes before, I don't like uh, burn. I don't like something that it goes down hot. That's not for me. Uh, some people love it. Uh, some people, I have a, a brother-in-law that loves, when he drinks his whiskey, like he wants his coffee to taste like motor oil and he wants his whiskey to like just grow hair on your chest. That's what he wants. I don't particularly like that. I like something smooth and mellow with a sweet finish. And this is all of those things. So cheers. It's just fantastic. I mean, what... What you get initially always that I get anyway is drinkability. I would totally recommend, especially if you're a newbie, you don't have to drink it neat. 
Um, and typically I don't. I'm doing it for this purpose so I can taste it and get the full flavor and not dilute it at all. But if you were going to a bar and you saw Angel's Envy at the bar, you could very easily ask for Angel's Envy on the rocks and you would thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy it. I'm making assumptions for you. But for me, this is a fantastic starter that you could go to Calandro's or a place and get for some 45-ish, $45 in that range. And it's magnificent. Now, Angel's Envy has another product that I absolutely love, which is their finished rye, which is actually back here on the bar. And it's finished in, uh, it's back there. It's finished in um, uh, rum barrels. And it's like candy. And I'll do a review on that maybe another time soon. But I would highly, highly, highly recommend the Angel's Envy Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey that is... Uh, it's the finish in the port wine barrels. It is 86.6 proof, so it's not overwhelming uh, as far as its strength. You're going to get sweet, you're going to get mellow, um, and you're going to get, like I mentioned, a lot of vanilla and not an overpowering oak flavor. So let's go one more time. Remember, some of the ones in the past that I've talked about, actually it will get better with each sip as the finish is longer. This, uh, the finish on this, I don't find as long as, say, like the Elijah Craig Nine Year that I reviewed. It's also my page. I would happily recommend you go watch that as well. But let's give this another go. It's just very sweet on the lips. It's probably the first thing, the most immediate thing that comes out whenever I... Um, when I first take a sip. So I think it's fantastic. Um, the the other, um, the, the one other taste uh, that you flavor you might get in this that I do as well, you'll kind of get within that oak is also like some maple, kind of like make maple syrup in it. Um, if you don't taste that, it's fine. I do. Um, and I just, I can't, recommend this highly enough. So if you're one of those people that's just starting and maybe you've tried uh, some of those $25, $35 whiskeys, you've enjoyed it and you're wondering, okay, what could be the next step? This could be one that you could keep permanently on your bar forever and enjoy it every time you have it. And casual whiskey drinkers, when they come over to your house, can drink it on the rocks. I would not mix it. I mean, if you found a cocktail that you loved, um, that this went well with, great. But for me, this is a perfect sipping whiskey. So Angel's Envy, um, finished in port wine barrels. Please make that notation. If you find the um, the finished rye, which is wonderful, it has a green label on it. So we'll, we'll do a review on that one sometime in the near future. But for those of you who are starting or maybe you've just never had Angel's Envy, I would highly, highly, Highly recommend that it is absolutely one of my favorites. So in the meantime, please do me a favor. Hit the red subscribe button. I would appreciate that greatly. Please leave comments. If there's something you would like for me to review, I would love to do that. So many of you have made a lot of suggestions and I'm happy to do that. But as of now, I'm kind of working my way through my bar over here and a lot of my high-end stuff I haven't quite touched on yet. But there's a few bottles over there that we're certainly going to get to really, really soon. So I appreciate you for uh, tuning in here on the Matt Wiscona YouTube channel on the whiskey reviews. Tell a friend. Please feel free to peruse the page and check out everything else here. In the meantime, cheers.